This is the new mini lottery miner from Jingle Mining. It solo mines Bitcoin, and if you're lucky, very, very lucky, it has the potential to solve a Bitcoin block, which is currently worth six and a quarter Bitcoin. At today's price of $43,500 per Bitcoin, that equals $272,000. Wouldn't that be a nice payday? But don't get your hopes up, your chances aren't looking good with this miner. Jingle Mining sent me this miner to review for you today. Oops, maybe they are hoping for a fluff review like many other YouTubers are giving, but not on this channel. I'll always give you my honest reviews and I have some big concerns with this little miner. It's a cute little device measuring just two and a half inches by one inch with a large display and is powered by USB-C. The display tracks your current hash rate, your uptime, and how many Bitcoin blocks you've found so far with the device, which obviously is zero. From what I can tell, this is just a rebranded version of the Nerd Miner from Bitronics, which has been around for a while now. It has the same control board and software, just a different 3D printed case. Probably saved Jingle Mining a few bucks in development costs going this route. This miner currently costs less than $50 and they're offering free shipping. Wow, that sounds like a pretty good deal to start mining Bitcoin, right? Not so fast. Let's see what our chances of hitting that Bitcoin lottery will be with this miner. It hashes at a whopping 77 kilohash per second, which I've personally never seen a Bitcoin miner's hash rate displayed in that low of a unit. Currently, the Bitcoin network hash rate stands at 525 exahash per second. So if we can convert both those rates down to hashes and divide the lottery miner's hash rate by the network hash rate, we get our percentage chance of currently hitting a Bitcoin block with this miner, which is a lot of zeros. That's equivalent to 6.8 quadrillion blocks. Next, let's convert that into how long it would take to find a block. The Bitcoin block time is approximately every 10 minutes. So it would take 47 trillion days at this rate to find a block with this miner. In years, that's 129 billion years. And that's assuming the Bitcoin network hash rate doesn't increase at all, which is obviously not the case. It's been increasing at a rate of about 5% or more every month for years now. So your odds are actually much, much worse than 129 billion years of finding a block with this miner. Now, Jingle Mining didn't give the power output for this miner on their website, so I decided to test it myself and found it only uses about one and a half watts of electricity, which is nice to see it was so low. At the current average U.S. electric rate of 16.8 cents per kilowatt hour, that equals about $2.21 in electric to run this thing per year. So it'll only cost you about $286 billion to run this thing for the next 129 billion years before you would statistically be likely to hit a Bitcoin block. Maybe you'll get lucky and hit it earlier, but you'll have to be a lot earlier because astronomers are projecting our sun will die and swallow the earth in only about 5 billion years. I've personally never bought a lottery ticket before and I never plan to. I think the lottery is a bad bet and it preys on the ignorant and poor to waste the little money that they have on hopes of hitting it big. And that's exactly what I think Jingle Mining is trying to do by selling you this miner. Outside of the novelty of telling people you're mining Bitcoin with this miner, there's no real good reason to buy it. So take your $50 and spend it on something else. Maybe buy some Bitcoin. If you really want to buy this miner, go find an affiliate link from one of the many YouTubers promoting it. In the meantime, I've decided what I'm going to do with my miner. 